Hi, my name is Karen Zaneda and I am one of the instructors for the Skills One Nursing course. The purpose of this video is that I'm going to go through the different injection sites. I'm going to go through the injection sites for the intramuscular and for the subcutaneous injections. For the intramuscular, you are responsible for knowing the dorsal gluteal, the ventral gluteal, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, and the deltoid. And I'll go through all those. I think the first one I'm going to start with, since my mannequin is facing towards me, is going to be the ventral gluteal. There's two landmarks that you need to know with the ventral gluteal. You need to find first the greater trochanter. If you're having troubles finding that knob of the greater trochanter, have your patient move his leg and you'll be able to feel it. You want to put the palm of your hand on the greater trochanter. The next landmark you need to find is the anterior superior iliac spine. That's going to be in the front and when you're feeling it's just right a knob right as it goes down. You can feel a knob there. So you put the heel of your hand on the greater trochanter, you put your pointer finger on the anterior iliac spine and then just spread your fingers. Now the where you're going to give it is right between here wherever you feel that it's kind of soft there, and I'm gonna say right here is a good spot. Now that was pretty difficult to find, so what I wanna do is mark it. So I'm gonna get an alcohol wipe, maybe, and open it up. I'm gonna cleanse the site, inner to outer, and then I'm gonna put my alcohol wipe with one of the corners pointing towards I'm going to give it. Then I can take my eyes away from it to maybe come over here and get my medication and then I'm going to come back and then I remember exactly where that site was. So remember the two landmarks, greater trochanter and the anterior superior iliac spine. So the next site I think that I'll show you will be the dorsal gluteal. Since my mannequin is set like this, this will be the perfect opportunity to do the dorsal gluteal because for this site, you want the patient facing away from you. Now, if he's mobile enough, he can lay on his abdomen as well. But for most parts, they're not feeling too good and they've either maybe had surgery or something. So just having them lay on their side away from you is sufficient. So there's two different ways to do the dorsal gluteal. I'm going to show you the one that you do need to know for sure with the landmarks. Back here on the buttocks, on the upper buttocks, is the posterior superior iliac spine. And it's a little knob that you'll find. So you want to mark that. And then again, you want to find the greater trochanter. And you want to mark that. Put an imaginary line between the two landmarks that you found. And in the center, one inch above, is where you're going to give that injection posterior iliac spine, greater trochanter, imaginary line, one inch above. There again, get your alcohol wipe, cleanse the site where you got it, use the corner to point, and then you can take your eyes off to go ahead and get your supplies that you're gonna be giving the injection. Once you come to give the injection, then you can of course take this off because you know exactly where it's going to be. One other way to do the dorsal gluteal is with the, um, without the use of those landmarks, but you need to take one side of the cheek. So we'll just keep using that left um, buttocks. You're going to do like a plus sign or window pane, whatever you want to call it. You make that plus sign and then you want two triangles so you get it in half and it's the upper outer triangle. So make your plus make a line here and it's upper outer quadrant. So if you were charting this site, whether you did the two landmarks or your plus, it's the left upper outer quadrant. The next site that I think I'll show you, my mannequin here, is going to be the rectus femoris. That's in the leg. Now, you want to use the greater trochanter or the symphysis pubis. Whichever one, it's the same spot. Put your palm of your hand on it. Put your palm of your hand on the patella. Come to the center with your pointer fingers and then that's where you're going to be giving the injection. Symphysis pubis, patella, in the center, that's where it'll be given. 
Now the vastus lateralis is very similar. You're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna bring it down to the side and then go to the center and then that's where you're going to give it on an adult. The last site that I'm gonna show you is the deltoid. And I'll see if I can get him on his side for you. The deltoid isn't a real large muscle up here in the arm. The landmark that you want is the acromion process. It's a knob up here, you're gonna feel that. You're gonna go two, possibly three fingers below that acromion process. I usually make a V below it because I wanna make sure I'm right in the center of that muscle and then you're gonna go right below where that third finger was. That's your intramuscular injection sites. The other thing to know is where you can give subcutaneous injections. Now, if I were gonna be giving heparin, you wanna give heparin in the abdomen, but you want it around the embolicus. Two inches around the embolicus is where you're gonna be giving your heparin. If you're gonna be giving Lovenox, Lovenox is more in the love handles is what we call it. So it's more down here is where you're gonna be giving your Lovenox. The other subcutaneous injection that you'll give is insulin. Now insulin, there's a little variety because you're gonna be ro rotating sites. You can give it on the abdomen like we showed you. And it can be anywhere on the abdomen for insulin. You just gotta remember which area it was. You can give it on the upper thigh and usually your more subcutaneous tissue is about here. Anywhere you can pinch an inch is where you can get a subcutaneous injection. Um, the other site would be, I'll show you on myself, is your arm. And you want it more on the posterior portion of the arm because that's where you got more subcutaneous tissue, where you can pinch the inch. You can do it on the back, you know, the lower back, but that's rarely a site that's used, but it is an, a site that can be used. So just make sure you know all of your intramuscular sites and your subcutaneous sites. And that's it for this video.